first time I ever saw somebody using a gimbal was this guy on rollerblades holding to the side of a taxi cab. He's filming the interior and he slowly moves to the exterior as the car picks up speed. He lets go of the cab, the car moves away and the shot's perfect. The behind the scenes of that shot made me want a gimbal right away. But gimbals were not very light or affordable at the time. That's, that has been like a, almost a decade now. Last year, I ended up getting a gimbal and I've been trying to replicate that shot ever since. The first time I ever tried that shot was with my cousin Manuel on a motorcycle. And then I tried again with my wife driving our car and the shot turned out even better. But I didn't think I was done with that. There was a lot of room for improvement and to start being creative as I was getting more comfortable with that style of shooting. And that led up to today, where I'm using two vehicles instead of one to add another level of complexity and using a 360 camera as my behind the scenes camera. The entire reason I got the 360 camera was to use as a behind the scenes camera and I found that worked perfectly. The best thing is when you get people with you that not only want to help you with the shot but they're willing to do multiple times, as many times as it takes. Sometimes people are not as patient, so thank you guys. Maybe the first one was good enough, maybe they're all crap. I'm only gonna find out when I get to the computer. So it turned out pretty good. I'm pretty excited about those shots, even knowing there is a couple of things that I wish I have done different. The biggest mistake I made was not reviewing the footage at the location. I could have fixed a lot of little things if I had just seen what I was doing, but I was more concerned about synchronizing everything than actually framing. Well, I thought I had the framing down. <laughs> the second mistake wasn't that bad, but I wish I had fixed that. The audio is popping a little bit because I didn't adjust the, the recording levels before I started. <laughs> well, that's it for today. I hope you have enjoyed the video.